Hey guys, what's happening today? I'm going to be doing a quick little video review of this TWS earphone and uh, I'm going to try to hit the highlights real quick. Uh, this uses the Bluetooth 5.0 standard, so you're going to um, basically have better sound quality um, across the board. You know, I've got some early standard in my car, for example, it's a 2013 and uh, it'll clip in the highs. You get just a little bit of crackling in the audio and it's noticeable, uh, especially on songs like, uh, I hate to use this as an example, but Chainsmokers, for example, they'll utilize a heck of a lot of uh, the audio spectrum and you can hear when it drops out, right? So um, this has been pretty flawless so far and it, it sounds fantastic. Uh, when you get this, it's a fairly simple box and inside there's the pill charging case, you've got the actual earbuds themselves and then um, you know something for your ear canal if you want to swap out the earpieces, right? Just different people have different fits. Um, nothing super remarkable here, I'll just go through some stuff in the back that they list off. They say the battery capacity is 50 milliamps. It looks like, uh, da, 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 this isn't. Distance, operating distance, 10 meters. That's 30 feet roughly. Um, I can confirm this. I've had my phone in different rooms and I've walked to the other side of my place and it's, or upstairs, downstairs, it doesn't seem to matter too much. It, it does a pretty good job. It says there's a standby time of 100 hours. I can't confirm that, that's insane to me. Um, but I did leave them off the charger all night last night and they're still good this morning, so. Um, that's great. And then a music time about 2.5 hours, talk time 2.5 hours. I can't confirm that yet either, but you know, that's not terrible either. I, they seem to charge pretty quick. Here's what you actually get. Um, this is going to be the meat and potatoes of this. And there also came with a USB charging cable, which is all you do is plug it in and you put these little guys, boom, on their respective dock. Uh, going through this, this is my first pair of wireless Bluetooth headphones I've ever owned. Um, I've got a wired pair here. It was relatively inexpensive, and I, I thought it was pretty neat at the time, but then if you work out at all like I do, you get just cord bumping on the back of your neck. That's not fun. Um, I'll run with your standard, standard wired Apple earbuds uh, just because I can control a good amount of it from the you know the little thing on there. Uh, if I'm just casually listening to music and I want good quality, I use my Sennheiser HD280. These are reference monitors. Um, these are professional. You know, They're 120 bucks. I want to say, a pair. They've been in distribution and circulation for, I want to say, about 15 years or something like that. If you watch any sports cast in the NFL, for example, they're usually wearing a pair of these um, and modified with like a the, the talk piece or whatever it might be. But I mean, I know professional sound guys, you know, on on our movie sets and stuff that use these exact headphones, and they actually recommended them to me. And so um, that's kind of the golden standard. And then my go-to is a Klipsch S4 earbud, which is wired and it's older, but um, I think it was about 75 bucks when I bought it and it tends to be a little higher. So let's talk about sound quality just in, in the context of this whole spectrum here where this old Bluetooth standard gave you the crackles and you know it's kind of obnoxious all the way up to reference monitor quality stuff. These are currently $39.99 or something like that and they're not going to provide obviously the same uh, amount of just sound isolation and the entire spectrum range that you'll get from a Sennheiser HD 280, right? But what you get is a wireless experience that's pretty darn good. And I got to say, I was actually quite impressed. Um, for this price point, they do a great job, uh, especially in the bass and the mids. I noticed the highs were a little bit lacking, but like I said, my go-to is that Klipsch S4, and those tend to be really crisp in the highs, um, to the point that some people complain about it. And as I get older, I actually realize, like I DJed for many years, my register, my auditory register is, is losing some of those frequencies. And so I need an extra push of those uh, highs. I, I think it's one of those things also where I kept these in basically all night last night. In fact, I even fell asleep with these in, um, listening to a song on repeat. It's just the thing I do if I can't sleep. And I, um, I got used to it very quickly. I made a couple calls with these. They were great. Um, it's a little bit jarring at first to have earbuds in that basically block out all external noise so you you'd kind of hear like the reverberation of the echo of your own voice in your head so to speak it's not anything coming from here it's just you sound like you're deaf when you're talking or something like that you feel like you are and uh, after getting used to it honestly like the sound quality is, is I'm still very very impressed uh, I did a little bit of running around jumping jacks that sort of thing whip my head like this I couldn't get these guys to fall out and um, just to kind of verify that I'll put them in real quick Left and right are basically identical, so you have to look for it. They're printed on the inside here. So here's left, okay. Connected, it says. Here's right, okay. 
and it tells you left channel, right channel when you put them in. Once they are in, it knows somehow. That's cool. So, okay, I was able to lose one there because I didn't do a good job putting it in. But previously, I'm telling you, like, if I actually get this guy in here, I don't think if I'm jogging, this thing is going to go anywhere, frankly. Um, I, like I said, I slept with them in and I roll over. I basically wake up like a burrito wrapped up in my blanket. So uh, the fact that, you know, they didn't come out during the night is pretty in amazing, actually. I also didn't notice a, an immense amount of pressure when I was sleeping on them. It's one of the problems I have with my Klipsch uh, headphones, for example. So I'll actually, if I'm doing that, sleep in these, and there's less pressure, right? But I think these... And these were on a par with each other in terms of what I felt as I, you know, rested my head on the pillow, if that's something that's important to you. Um, just a couple of other things I guess I'll go into here. In terms of the form factor, I don't have a whole lot to compare to since I don't have truly wireless Bluetooth headphones outside of these. I think they're pretty minimal, honestly. Uh, I saw what Samsung's releasing right now is the AirPods killer, or it's supposed to be the AirPods killer. And... Um, I, I feel like it's probably roughly the same size. We're going to see more and more of this. If you feel like looking like a douche, you're going to be looking like a douche when you're walking around with this. You go to an airport sometimes, see how many people have iPads or uh, ear pods, excuse me, and you know you won't feel so bad very quickly. This is a lot more subtle too in this color than it would be in a bright blazing white with a little stem coming down, for example, which I just can't fathom. Uh, I do have some concerns about losing them in my sleep. Luckily, it's you know my bed, so I'm not going to like they're not going to go too far, but you know, that's just the thing that I think we need to get used to. And actually, at this price point, if you are concerned about losing an earbud, uh, maybe it's better to get something that's $40 versus something that's $160, just for example. Uh, I'm not a scientist, but that might be cheaper to replace. Uh, anything else I'll say about these real quick here? Charging was a breeze. Uh, when you place these in the case, you just want to make sure you got left and right correct. And I think there might even be fail safes for it, but I'll throw this in. And you probably can't see it, but it magnetically snaps in so you're not going to lose it. Uh, one thing I did notice, and this might cause some issues, is what I had these face up last night and if they're connected you can see that there's a very strong LED and that's to let you know, yeah, you can see how bright that is. It's to let you know that it is connected or it is charging or whatever it might be, like, you know, it's giving you a status. In fact, this guy lights up green on the back. When these guys are in your ears and you're listening to music, they'll periodically flash blue. And I couldn't figure it out at first, but it was literally so bright that I saw a blue spot, you know, on my 14-foot ceilings, like vaulted ceilings in my bedroom. And I'm going like, that can't be from, yeah, sure enough. It's not going to wake you up if you've got your eyes closed. But if you rolled over, for example, and your, uh, you know, wife, girlfriend, whatever is in bed, and it's pointed at their eyes, there's a good chance you might actually wake them up. So it's just something to consider as well. Uh, I don't think it's bad or a deal breaker by any means, especially at this price point, but you know, it's, it was interesting. Um, and we'll probably see more of it to be completely honest until they come out with a night mode for earbuds, which, so anyway, I think that's, uh, the good, the bad and the ugly. Would I recommend buying these at this price point? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed actually. Uh, it's a little bit amazing what they can do. Uh, nowadays, especially considering, you know, what I paid for these a couple of years ago and, um, I think these are going to end up basically being a staple in my life for a while uh, just because of I, I love the non-wired convenience of this. It's, just, it's really cool. Hope that helps. Cheers.